as you all know by having clicked on this video, I'm here to review the film Thor Love and Thunder, which is the fourth Thor movie. It stars Chris Hemsworth as Thor and also features Christian Bale, Russell Crowe, Natalie Portman and a whole host of other characters. Now, I have to admit that I didn't really enjoy the first two Thor movies very much. I would say the first one was okay, but it suffered from what I call origin story basis. Where you have to spend so much time setting the character up and the parameters around them that you've not really left yourself the greatest amount of time for a story. The second one just didn't really hit with me at all. That's my least favourite. But I was a massive, massive fan of Ragnarok. And I can instantly tell you that for me, despite enjoying Thor Love and Thunder, Thor Ragnarok is still the gold standard. Chris Hemsworth plays Thor brilliantly once again. And I think he comes across as really funny, really charming, but as a hero with a deep heart. And I have to give serious props as well to both Natalie Portman and to Christian Bale. Now, Christian Bale plays the villain of the piece, and I didn't even realise it was him. It wasn't until I was reading the end credits that I was like, wow, that was Christian Bale. Which I suppose can only be seen as very high praise, because when you see somebody merely as the character they're portraying and don't instantly see through it and know who they are and start bringing other thoughts to the equation, that can only be a good thing. There are plenty of fight scenes in this film, plenty of characters, and if you are fond of Guns N' Roses, then there is a lot of Guns N' Roses music used very well in this film. The songs they use in the places they use them just hit perfectly. I would rate this film a 7 out of 10, but I think people are going to have very different mileages on this. I went to see this with both my daughter and my missus, and I think my daughter would have said it was a standout 10 out of 10, whereas my missus thought it was more of a 4 out of 10, and one of the least favourite Marvel films she's seen. She didn't think that it lived up to either the action or the fun of something like Guardians of the Galaxy. But I definitely think this film is worth going to watch and just bear in mind that depending on what you enjoy in the Marvel Universe your mileage might vary a little seeing as not only from my own family but from other people I've talked to this film has got a very up and down mixed reception it seems to be quite a Marmite film okay that's Kerr 9000 signing off saying Excelsior <laughs>